Have you ever seen an Apple commercial or that scene when they first go into the Matrix? It looks like the person is just standing there amidst a sea of white, white that just goes on forever. In my old studio, I had a section dedicated to infinite white. I love the cleanliness and the fact that it keeps the focus on me without any kind of distraction in the background. It also gives me the ability to fly music in and out, zoom in and out, move myself around the screen freely. And the best part about it is you don't need $3,000 cameras to shoot an infinite white. That's why now that I've moved to my new studio, I decided to dedicate the whole live room to infinite white. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I built it from the ground up. That's what's coming up next, so let's get started. Now it's taken me almost two full months to build this room. And I would've done it a lot faster, but you know, I'm home with two three-year-old twins. So even though I love them more than anything on this earth, they tend to be two little time vampires. But in any case, I finally got the project done and I'm so excited to get back into production after taking a couple of months off. That being said, if you're a fan of drums or you wanna get better at drumming in general, this is the channel for you. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Okay, so here we are in week two of trying to build my studio. And as you can see, I really haven't gotten much done here. Um, but the first step here is to just set up the camera on the tripod just to see if I can even get a wide shot because the room is so small. So as long as I could do that, that means that this room is gonna work even though it's small. My other studio was so big, it took a ton of lights to get the lighting right. Anyone that knows anything about video production in general, it's all about lighting. So if your lighting is good, your videos are good. So now that we've established our shot, the next step is going to be building a small platform for the drums. The worst thing you wanna do in an infinite white setup is have black cables all over the place in the floor of your studio. So a very small drum riser will help hide all those wires and they'll only pop up where absolutely necessary. We're on our way to get all the stage material because we had to rent the truck. This is a, my trusty nephew-in-law. I gave you nephew-in-law, is that what Yeah, nephew-in-law. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's what it would be. <laughs> Helping me out, moving all the oversized stuff. Hopefully we can get everything in there and I can start building the stage in the new house. Uh, and I've removed these two front portions of stage to take over to the new house. Dad, I want you to see the spiders. You want to see the spiders? spiders? Next step is to get it all to the new house and lay everything out. I was able to get the chunks of stage from the old studio into the new studio. And amazingly, these pieces fit like a glove. But a second piece is not gonna fit only because I have this door right here and I'm gonna have to be able to open this. I'm gonna go ahead and cut a piece to accommodate that door. So I've already taken my measurements. I'm gonna go upstairs and cut that piece. Then we're gonna bring it down and see how it fits. The next thing I need to do is shore up under here, because this is gonna be kind of loose. So I gotta measure the height and create a little bit of a frame to support that weight. So I decided to go ahead, cut some three quarter of an inch panels into this exact height of the other part of the stage and just create a frame. So this is what's gonna look like underneath the second side of the stage. And once that's all secured together, that should be incredibly sturdy. All right, so it looks like we got the last pieces all cut out to the right size. Um, now I put a little bit of a quarter inch plywood on top with a finished edge so I could paint it. That'll be white along with the walls and that'll give me that infinite white look that I'm going for. The next thing I gotta do right now is screw down all these planks and make sure everything's secure. When I finish up the stage with the white, I wanna make sure you don't see any of the seams and you don't see any of the screw heads. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover that with some spackle. All right, so the stage is all taped and spackled and I've gone ahead and uh, Run my wire if you can see it back there. And let me tell you, that was a real pain in the ass. 
Now the next step is to paint all the walls and the stage white. Okay, so we are done with the painting. The next step is gonna be getting the lights right. And I took the ceiling fan down and I'm gonna hang these soft boxes from the ceiling. So here's our two soft boxes hung up on the ceiling. Uh, they are going to be overexposing the background. I have these two LEDs here that are gonna be used to light the drum set. And I have one more LED panel that will be on a stand. Okay, the only thing left to do is setting up the drums and getting some sound. Okay, so the studio is completely wired up and ready to go. So I've gone ahead and set up the drums. I've gone ahead and hung all my lights and sent all my wires over here to the computer station. And the last thing I needed to do was I put a floating monitor up here. And if you notice, that monitor is kind of folded up in the ceiling. And I've created this pulley mechanism and it faces the drum set. So here's my view from behind the drums, and if I look up, there's my monitor. Now the last thing I need to do is get this coving so I can get rid of the seam between the stage and the wall. That way when I shoot the infinite white, you don't see anything but white behind and around the drums. Now originally when I did the coving, I actually used a pull down shade from a window. The problem with that is, you know, it wasn't very rigid, so you could see all the wrinkles and all the shadows inside of the coving. So I decided to get something a little bit more sturdy. And what I settled on is this vinyl flashing. This is actually flashing that you get for outside, like you can put up on your roof. So this is what I'm gonna be using to create that cove between the stage and the wall. Now here's my pieces of vinyl flashing. I've laid them all out. They're cut to the perfect size. Uh, even though it's already white, I want it to match the wall exactly. So I painted them the same color as the white in the walls. Let's go ahead and throw this stuff up. Here's the finished product, soup to nuts. I hope you dug the video. If you did, feel free to smash that like button. That really helps out the channel. Also, do you have a similar setup? How do you shoot your video? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for checking out the video, and remember to always set up your drum studio with purpose.